three hours sleep in the last four well, days. It would have been all right. We were prepared for it, but it, it was actually a very interesting dynamic. There were so many protesters that showed up that the police, we'd arranged a sort of arrest scenario and things, but the police just, there's too many of you, we can't deal with it. And, you know, to get arrested, they'll have to, be, people have to do felonies and things, and that was not, and anyway, I mean, the, the power of the day was that we won. Not only did we shut the plant down for the day, but we shut it down forever. You know, it's not going to burn coal anymore. There's still 600 out there, one down, 600 to go, still, it was proof positive, if anybody needed it, that movements work. That you don't just elect people and stand back, important as electing the right people are, that you then have to go make your case. And, and it was so powerful to see young people power shift, completely fired up, and in the morning lobbying their congressmen, and in the afternoon, you know, linking arms around this coal-fired power plant and understanding that there are so many different ways to make change and that we're going to have to embrace all of them if we're going to get there in time. I mean, the part that for me, of course, was most exciting is that they are completely understanding the 350 message, understanding that this is the most important number in the world, going to 350.org, signing up for not just to do actions on October 24th, this big global day of action, but to do incredibly creative ones, which is what we really need, things that take this number and make it so real for people. In fact, it was so much fun yesterday because I was marching on the street uh, arm in arm with Jim Hansen, who is, you know, we plastered with 350 stickers. This is his number. He came up with it, you know, and I think he was very moved to hear thousands of people chanting 350. Oh, and you know, it's not often that you get people chanting, uh, you know, uh, 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 parts per million of anything, you know, uh, and this sort of. So I had him on one arm and Wendell Berry on the other, you know, really the great embodiment of the environmental movement. I mean, it was a really great day.